Imagine this. You're sitting at home on your couch, maybe still in your pajamas, and within seconds, you're connected to a professional therapist. No waiting room, no awkward eye contact across a crowded office, no lost time in traffic. Just you, your phone or laptop, and someone trained to help you navigate your toughest emotional challenges. That's not science fiction anymore. That's therapy in 2025. And what's driving this revolution? Two powerful forces, AI and teletherapy. Now, some of you might already be thinking, but can a virtual session really be as effective as face-to-face -face therapy? Here's the surprising part. Multiple studies say yes. A 2023 meta-analysis showed that teletherapy outcomes for depression and anxiety were almost identical to in-person sessions. And even better, patients reported feeling less stigma when connecting online. That's huge, because stigma has long been one of the biggest barriers stopping people from getting the help they need. But let's push it further. What about AI? Can an algorithm actually help us heal? Research from Stanford in 2024 found that AI-assisted therapy platforms, where chatbots and smart algorithms help track mood, suggest coping strategies, or even listen in between human sessions, actually increased patient engagement by 34%. Think about that. Not replacing therapists, but amplifying them. Like having a personal trainer for your emotions, available 24-7. Of course, that sparks curiosity and skepticism. Could a machine ever truly understand human suffering? Can AI really read between the lines of your silence the way a seasoned therapist does? Maybe not fully, but here's where it gets fascinating. AI isn't trying to replace empathy. It's trying to scale access. Imagine millions of people who can't afford traditional therapy suddenly having a first step, an entry point, where they feel heard and guided before moving into deeper human-led counseling. Let's also address another big question. Is online therapy safe and private? According to the American Psychological Association, HIPAA-compliant platforms now use end-to-end -end encryption, biometric logins, and anonymized data storage. In fact, surveys show that over 70% of teletherapy users feel their sessions are just as private, if not more private, than sitting in an office where someone might see them walking in. And then there's cost. Traditional therapy can run $100 to $200 per session, which is simply impossible for many families. AI-based programs and teletherapy platforms often cut that cost in half or even more. This is why some experts are calling it the democratization of mental health care. So what does the future look like? Maybe you'll have a blended model, a trusted human therapist you see virtually once a week, supported by an AI app that checks in daily, tracks your emotional patterns, and nudges you toward healthier routines. It's like combining the wisdom of a counselor with the persistence of a digital companion. But let me leave you with a thought-provoking question. What if, in the next decade, seeking help becomes as normal as checking your fitness tracker or smartwatch? What if therapy stops being something we do only when we break down and instead becomes an ongoing lifestyle practice supported by both humans and technology? That's the real future of therapy, not replacing connection, but expanding it, making it easier, cheaper, and more accessible so that no one has to suffer alone.